Bel Air is known as one of the most prestigious residential neighborhoods in not only Los Angeles, but in the entire world. It's home to an abundance of A-list celebrities that you know and love. Today, we're giving you a full tour of a very special modern mansion above the Bel Air Country Club that features amenities such as a two-lane bowling alley, an arcade game room, a pickleball court, a 5,600 square foot primary suite, a motor court that has held up to 60 cars, and a rooftop deck that you'll have to see to believe. I can't wait to show you guys all that this home has to offer, so let's get right into it. Walking up this massive driveway, behind me is the motor gate and security booth to prevent anyone from coming in here. That is not welcome. And this home might have the best curb appeal of any home in Bel Air. I mean, take a look at this massive four-story structure with a rooftop deck that you probably have only seen in your dreams. It truly is that remarkable, guys. But as we take a look at your driveway here, they have said they've fit up to 60 cars in total on this driveway as it stretches out all the way behind me. And this property is on over an acre, so there is a lot of room to have motor vehicles, such as this one staged right out in front of the home. Looking up at the exterior of the property, we have several glass railings and a cantilevered roof above your massive glass front entrance. There's a 12 car garage along this bottom floor and a ton more driveway space that extends to the end of your house. But walking up to the front door, I love the landscaping, the shrubbery out front, the rock features and the several water features. You guys are also gonna get a full rooftop tour of what this home looks like at night, so I can't wait for that. Stick around for the end. Also subscribe because we're touring homes just like this every single week on the channel, but I think it's time to show you the inside, so let's head in. Before we continue on with the tour, I wanna give a big thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring our video today. Many of us encounter challenges with our mental well-being at various points in our lives, and these struggles can significantly impact our daily responsibilities, overall quality of life, and personal relationships. So few of us have the opportunities to be heard in our lives, and sometimes it's hard to share what's going on, even with our close friends. If you're someone who struggles with any form of anxiety or depression, or if you just want someone to talk to, vent out your feelings, or share your story, I know therapy can be an invaluable resource. If you guys haven't heard of BetterHelp, they're an online therapy service striving to make therapy more accessible and affordable. All you need to do is head to their website and answer a few questions about yourself. Then they will promptly match you up with a professional therapist of the best fit in just a couple of days. If the initial therapist you're matched with doesn't feel like the right fit, you can comfortably switch to another therapist at no additional cost. If you wanna see if BetterHelp can be the right fit for you, there is a link in the description to their website at betterhelp.com slash Darren Kriz. You'll get 10% off and connect to the online therapist that fits your needs right away. Thank you so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the tour and head inside through this massive glass front door. As we arrive into this extravagant home, double heighted ceilings with a beautiful chandelier directly above me, gallery walls to both sides of me, this is the amenity floor, the first level. There's a total of four floors throughout the home. First, we have the office on my right side. I'll show you this real quick. Currently staged as an office space. This is one of my favorite rooms throughout the entire house because you have sliding glass doors leading out to a water feature, the front yard, your driveway. You can enter this room just from the driveway alone. Park your car in the driveway, walk past these little floating steps, and then look at that. We've arrived into your office space. This is an amazing place to do some work. We also do have sleek walls on two sides, flat screen TV up on the wall, built-ins throughout, LED lights, but let's keep on moving. So now, like I said, this is the entertainment floor with all the amenities. 
And I'm gonna show you what those amenities have to offer. I love these backlit walls as well. As we head into this room with the pocketed doors, we have entered into your bar area where we're gonna see a bowling alley to my right, movie theater to my left. This is honestly insane, guys. So we are gonna start over here in the bowling alley, but first we have your very own bowling shoes. You don't even have to bring your own bowling shoes when you arrive into this house. They're right here for you. You got every size in the book right there, bowling balls down beneath. Blue LED lights surround the entirety of the bowling alley and you have a projector screen at the very end of your two lanes right here. More flat screen TVs to both sides, but as we leave the bowling alley now, we're gonna check out your bar in the very center that separates the bowling alley from the movie theater. Four light fixtures above, two floating glass shelves for all of your high-end bottles and glasses. You have a mirrored backsplash and two beers on tap as well in your home bar. You're gonna see a lot more of these throughout the entire home, so maybe you should count those as we go through this house on the second and third floor. And on the rooftop, they have a couple of these too, so we'll keep on showing you. Also, another freezer because the more the merrier. Leaving the bar, there are curtains to separate the bar area from your home movie theater and just take a look at it. You have bar seating on the outside so you can conveniently grab a drink and then sit at your movie theater bar while watching your favorite film. But let's check this out. Movie theater lighting on both walls, carpeted flooring, and three levels to this movie theater. You have black leather recliners throughout the entirety, massive projector screen up above, and with the click of a button, you can close off that entire curtain as well. Look at that, one button, the lights dim in here, and the curtains close, so you can just have a nice private screening for you and anyone you'd like. But now let's get out of this movie theater and walk down this hallway. Storage space to my right, and there are a few bedrooms back behind me, but there's one room that you might not expect, and that's this one to the right. You walk in here, are we at Chuck E. Cheese, or are we at a home. This is just a single family home in Los Angeles, in Bel Air. Five flat screen TVs up on the wall. Before I show you all these games we have going on, there are four PlayStations and four Xboxes connected to each one of these TVs. You can definitely have any video game tournaments that you'd want in this space. And then Bigfoot Crush, we've got a little racing game right here. What, what do we have here? We have a hunting game. I definitely have to try one of these. This is the one, this is more my speed. We've got mini basketball. We're gonna test my abilities right here and uh, see how I do. See if I can maybe break the record. Let's try it out. Go! Oh, all right. Absolutely dominated the high score. But there we go. There's also a basketball hoop on the rooftop deck. We'll see if I'm better at that than I was at that. I don't think I was too bad though, honestly. And then we have Golden Tea, little golfing game, Dance Dance Revolution. I'm sure you guys have seen one of these before, maybe even dance on one of them at Dave and Buster's or something. But how many houses have their own arcade room? This definitely is a great entertainment home, of course. You're gonna see a lot more amenities just like this throughout the home. Let's keep on moving. Show you some more things that are a little bit more subtle than an arcade room. Back in this hallway, there is a full bathroom with another door leading into a shower where your toilet is, floating vanity, LED underneath. We've got dark brown features throughout. Just another bathroom right in this hallway. So we keep on moving. Here's one of the guest bedrooms with another full bath and shower. We've got this incredible stonework behind your bed in this one. Two sliders open up to your driveway. We are front facing in this room, walk-in closet, and another flat screen TV here in this room. I honestly really like this entire wing of the house. It can be its own $2 million home in itself or its own Airbnb because there are multiple rooms down here with their own full bathroom and outdoor access. Follow me through here, another door, storage space, your very own kitchen as we walk into this area. Now, as we enter into here, this is basically a three bedroom house alone. As I was saying, you've got your sink, you've got all your appliances that we just passed by, TV up on the wall, there's a living room in here. This could also be just a corporate office area where you have multiple people living here, maybe put some desks and just do some work without enjoying all of the amenities that this floor also has to offer. There's also a bathroom right off the living room in between. 
And where do we even begin? Just follow me into each of these rooms. We're gonna check them all out. This one is front facing and there's actually two sliding glass doors leading out to outdoor sections. This one leads out to the front. This one in the corner leads out to a turfed area. Let me just open this for you just so you can see what I'm talking about. This connects to another bedroom as well, right across from this outdoor turf area. There is a barbecue grill in this space too. And we are right on your driveway. There's a staircase that leads up to the floor above us as well. Storage space in your closet. Keep on following me. Another slider and then two bedrooms right next to each other. This could definitely be an entire section for the staff of the property as well. I think it's over $500,000 just to maintain this home every single month. So you gotta maybe have staff live on the property in these rooms. There's another slider next to me that leads out to that turf space. Full bathroom over in the corner, storage space, and two flat screen TVs up above. Security system down below, so maybe the security guard that is working in the booth out front can live in here and make sure they're monitoring everything that's going on throughout the home. Next bedroom is a little bit smaller than the other two, but there is an emergency exit as you head out through this slider. There's a ladder that goes up to the next level. Once again, another bathroom with bright modern finishes in here, shower with a glass door, and that was it. That was everything for this Airbnb down here. You've got three, actually no, there's one more, I forgot. We have to walk by this living space once again. I'm super impressed with this area alone. How do you think I'll react when we go up to the master bedroom? This one, another room similar to the last one, emergency exit, flat screen TV up on the wall. So that's actually four bedrooms, one, two, three, four. And then if you walk down this way, we've got two Electrolux washer and dryers. And this is the fifth bedroom in this space. I made a mistake, I said three bedrooms, five bedrooms. This could be its own house in itself, a five bedroom apartment. This would rent for 10,000 plus dollars a month on the very, very low end anywhere else other than just in this house, in this modern home in Bel Air. All of them are en suite, another bathroom's attached, flash screen TV up on the wall once again. But leaving that room, the laundry area, the kitchen, the five bedrooms, that was this entire first level wing of the home. Now let's walk back down the hall, past the elevator and staircase because we've got the garage on that side. Walking past the front door, once again, we've got a piano underneath the set of floating stairs. And we have several of these light fixtures hanging down by strings from the third level up above in the center of this floating staircase. As I keep on walking to my right is the elevator that takes you from this first floor all the way up to the rooftop deck. Follow me down into this way. There is another room staged as an office space, also a space for the security guard to monitor anything that's going on with the flat screen TV up on the wall. On the opposite side of the hallway, another bathroom. How many bathrooms are in this house? Motion sensor lights, dark finishes in here. There's also a shower over on this side, but let's get out of this bathroom. And now we're gonna enter into your garage. Check this out. This is one of the coolest garages you guys will ever see in your entire life with multiple turnstiles for your cars just to display any Lamborghinis, any sports cars that you might want to impress your friends or if you park them in here, you can easily turn them around, give them a 180. Also do love the dark tiled floors in this garage but keep on following me to this side. You can fit 12 cars in this garage pretty comfortably. There's another turnstile over there in the corner. Dark mirrored walls behind me to make the space look even larger than it really is. So you can just imagine having multiple cars parked right in front of those mirrors so it looks like you have double of every car and that wouldn't be a bad thing. You can also see through your garage doors into the driveway so you can get some views even when you're inside this garage area. You've got the brains of the house to my left, but let's walk back inside and head upstairs, show you the second level. Heading up the floating staircase to the second level. Now this is where the primary suite is and several other bedrooms throughout the house. We're gonna start by walking left to the primary bedroom, gallery wall to my right with that gray stonework next to your elevator and the stairs that lead up to the third floor. But this is it. This is the entire primary suite. It starts here, it's about 5,600 square feet in size. Just imagine that, just for the primary bedroom. That is just mind boggling, guys. So starting here, this is your living room for the primary bedroom. You got a book match fireplace in here, TV up above. On the opposite side, we have 
sliding glass doors opening up to a private balcony. And then we also have a wet bar in this living room. Let's walk through these double doors and enter into your primary bedroom. This is where the magic happens, guys. This is the California king size bed, double California king size bed. This is a massive, look at this thing. This is huge. I'm about six feet tall. Wingspan's probably about six feet, but this bed is giant. So just think about the scale of this room just from looking at this bed. Fireplace to my right with beautiful stonework surrounding it. Flat screen TV up above. And once again, another private balcony through these sliding glass doors. And all of the glass doors are tinted very well, so nobody can see you inside your home from the street here. Just a nice private balcony that extends a good length here all the way to the primary bathroom. But let's head back inside here and show you what's down this way here in the corner. This is the his bathroom, actually. There are two bathrooms, a his and a hers. If this is a his, I mean, what could the hers look like? This thing is insane. I'm a big fan of all the blue LEDs throughout. If you guys have been a fan of my channel for a while, you know that blue is my favorite color. So I think it just adds a nice pop to any room, especially this bathroom. You've got the gray marble surrounding us in its entirety. Electric fireplace beneath your flat screen TV. Freestanding tub in the center as the statement piece. A shower that has one entrance and one exit. Makeup station on my right. Shower bench in here is phenomenal. Smart toilet behind me that opens up by itself. You gotta have one of those in every home. And then what's next to that smart toilet, you ask? That is a urinal. Having a urinal next to a smart toilet is ideal for any bathroom. And you do have this standing tinted glass piece to separate the toilets from the rest of your bathroom. Here, you've got the sink right next to where your closet is. More of those blue LEDs surrounding us. A couple of recess above. But right next to that, let's check out this walk-in closet. In the his bathroom, dark finishes throughout. You've got a center island with Plenty of built-in drawers. All of them are soft closing as well. Just a very sleek, modern look throughout in this closet and the dark tones make it very masculine. But there's one thing that you guys might not have noticed if you never watched this video before. It just looks like an ordinary, standard storage space right here. But then you open this up and it leads into a secret back room here. Where you can store your vault, this is a safe room for pretty much just anything you can envision do with this room, but that is one of the secret entrances in this house. I'm not gonna tell you where the other ones are. We'll close that off. We're gonna leave this bathroom and walk over to the hers. All right, we're walking to the other side, past the bed now, through yet another door, and this is it. I mean, you're getting a sneak peek into the actual primary bathroom. That's insane. But first, follow me to the right, and this is your hers closet, which is, it's gotta be four times the size of the his. So we're gonna start over on this side. Now we've got brighter features in here with the light quartz countertops, the light gray smooth finishes on the walls. On the opposite end, we have an even larger center island with more light gray finishes, several door space for all of your clothes. Does anyone really need this much closet space? Check this out. I look like an ant all the way back here at the end of this closet. This is absurd. There are also three light fixtures hanging up above from the ceiling to display the countertop spaces. Honestly, I think even the Kardashians wouldn't have enough clothes to fill out all of the dresser spaces in this closet, but let's head out of here because that is too overwhelming for me. And I've seen a lot of homes. You guys would know if you're longtime viewers of this channel. Let's keep on moving. We are finally in the primary bathroom. We are gonna show you everything this primary bathroom has to offer, starting with one vanity on this side, linear mirror, several recessed lights above, a makeup station on the left side, and then a frosted door leading into yet another smart toilet room. I guess it's not gonna open up for us, but there's too much to show you in here. Just wait till we check out that section. Right side has a little fireplace, once again, surrounded by marble, flat screen TV up above, just bright marble everywhere. And take a look at this tub, guys. One of the coolest square tubs you will ever see. Look at all the jets in that tub as well. It's basically like having your own hot tub in your primary bathroom and is covered with marble as well as the rest of this bathroom. 
But behind me, we have another glass door that leads into a shower slash steamer, as you can see from up on the wall. Body spray here in the center, multiple rain shower heads above and up on the wall. But here's a cool thing about this shower that I haven't really seen. So marble shower bench, glass tiled flooring. I've never really seen a shower with beds in here. You can lay down on these day beds in the shower. Now this house has been thoroughly cleaned since it has been on the market several times, but that is awesome. There's one on both sides, a fully symmetrical shower slash steamer. I need one of those in my house. I think I need one of everything that I've shown you guys in my house as well. But let's keep on moving. Check out the rest of this bathroom. The scale of this room is unbelievable. So as we walk into this section of your bathroom, we've got it staged with a couple massage beds and two outdoor balconies through these sliders that overlook your driveway and the hills out here in Bel Air. Over on this side, like I said, more sliders that lead out to a balcony. Built-in mini fridge down beneath, plenty of countertop space. I love these limestone walls surrounding this flat screen TV and multiple small glass shelves up on that limestone to display whatever you want. Right now we have it staged with these beautiful blue candle lights. Sink right there next to a built-in freezer in your bathroom. There's just so much to this room, it's insane. You've got a salon area, you've got a mirror up on the wall. Next to your salon, you have a cryotherapy chamber. They are gonna also implement a cold plunge right here instead of having this horse staged back here. It's also a mirror right behind this entire salon. You've got a sauna, of course. You gotta have a sauna. Every house has a sauna, I feel like, these days. But next to that sauna is a spiral staircase that leads us down into the garage that we showed you when we were down there. So that once you come park your supercar in the garage, you can easily just head up into your primary suite, the primary bathroom. If you don't wanna bother anyone in the main areas of the house, maybe someone's bowling, maybe someone is partying down there and you don't wanna bother them, come up through the garage and get a massage. That also did rhyme. That was everything for this primary suite bathroom, the bathtub, the other bathroom, the primary bedroom. And now we're gonna walk past the elevator once again to the other side and show you what's over there. Leaving the primary bedroom, we're gonna walk past the staircase once again and go to the other side where there are several more bedrooms up here. So I gotta show you everything. I have to show you those. This is your central living space. That does separate the primary suite from all of those bedrooms. You do also have laundry space right next to this room with several washer and dryers, large marble fireplace with a flat screen TV up above and limestone like finishes here on this wall next to me. But now before we go down that hallway, there is one bedroom right next to the front facing your driveway. Follow me in here. There's a flat screen TV on the wall and it's en suite. One of the cooler bathrooms that I've seen because this pocket Gives you a nice view of the tub down below. But if you enter through the door, you can see what I mean. You've got the tub, the shower. It's a pretty unique look to this bathroom overall, but it's a large one. Floating vanity with light gray quartz countertops. And this door leads into a walk-in closet through the bathroom. So there you go. Anyone could live in this room very comfortably. But let's head out of this one and show you the others down the hallway. You take a turn to the right and there are a few more bedrooms. Just look at the scale of this hallway in general, gallery walls to both sides of me to put any kind of artwork that you might want. But follow me down here. Can you imagine living in one of these rooms while whoever the head honcho is of this house is living in that primary suite? It's definitely an adjustment. It's definitely different. You've got two rooms right here, but also these rooms are not small, mind you. This could definitely be a primary bedroom in any other house. Flat screen TV up on the wall, yet another balcony that overlooks the driveway. And we do have the same bathroom that we saw in the last one with that open pocket above a bathtub and then floating vanity on the opposite side, glass wall to cover your toilet, give you some privacy, glass enclosed shower and walk-in closet in the very back of this bathroom. But let's leave that one and show you this one, another large, Bedroom with high ceilings, 
recessed lighting, and this balcony does connect to all of the other rooms up here, which is very nice. So this could also be like an Airbnb in its own, like I was talking about on the floor beneath us. There are several rooms up here. You can have your own bachelor party up here, and then someone else could have their own bachelorette party downstairs because the outdoor portion connects all of these rooms. I really do like the layout of this house, surprisingly. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. We have a walk-in closet with a full body mirror in here, plenty of storage space. Right next to this, of course, an ensuite bathroom. Freestanding tub in this bathroom with the wavy textured walls behind it, going up to the ceiling, toilet, glass shower, floating vanity, another ensuite bathroom with that balcony that I was talking about. Let's get out of here and walk back down the hallway. A couple more bedrooms to show you. This is the last bedroom up here on your second level. Follow me in here. And have we even entered a bedroom or is this a kitchen? Because you've got a sink, you've got a dishwasher, quartz countertops, as well as on the backsplash, plenty of storage and a built-in mini fridge down beneath. And now, as you walk this way, look at this bedroom. This is a massive suite. This would be very expensive to rent if you were to rent this in Los Angeles. We have a living room in here, flat screen above, couple of beautiful light fixtures, two sliding glass doors to lead out to a private balcony space right here, king size bed here, right in the center. Another flat screen TV up above for your bed. Unbelievable views of the city from this room alone. If you walk over this way, we have some storage space in a walk-in closet and another door that leads out to your private balcony. But look at from this angle, this is one of the largest non-primary bedrooms that I've ever seen in a house. I would definitely live comfortably here. I might even prefer this over the primary bedroom. It is bigger actually. And we walk into here. This is what your bathroom looks like. Glass enclosed shower with the chrome shower heads. Floating vanity with the light gray quartz countertops. Linear mirror above with the LED surrounding it. Toilet right next to the floating vanity. And it leads into a narrow walk-in closet with several dark wood finishes in there and a body mirror in that one. I'm a big fan of this bedroom. It is pretty surprising when walking in here. You don't realize what you're gonna see until you actually step foot into this room. But that was everything for this second level of the home. Now we gotta walk upstairs and show you where the party floor is at. As we head up the floating staircase to the third floor, this is the floor that I think all of you guys want to see. This is the entertainment floor. So first off, come over here. Here's the staircase with the glass railing and this is where the elevator will lead you. So they used to have a lot of parties at this house as I've already mentioned. You take the elevator as you arrive, you come up to the third floor, you look left, you look right, and where do you even begin? There is so much to see up on this top level. So before we show you all of the entertainment space and multiple bars on that side, we're gonna start with the kitchen and this dining area. Dining area to the left, but the right side, this is where we have your kitchen absolutely extravagant kitchen overall. There are more appliances in this kitchen than any home I've ever toured myself. To my left is your fridge and freezer stainless steel. And as we keep on walking, there's a 12 burner gas stove and three Mila ovens down beneath. And this might be the most impressive part. There are two pot fillers. I've never seen two pot fillers in any house. Now they have two pot fillers here, massive hood vent above. And behind me, there are two more Mila ovens as well. So you've got five in total along this side. Mila espresso machine, then a Mila steamer slash microwave. Also, as you walk down this space, this is your chef's kitchen. Another full kitchen in here, six burner gas stove. This is like the perfect kitchen for any apartment in Los Angeles, honestly, and it'd still be probably 5,000 a month to rent if this is how your kitchen looks in LA anywhere. Two more ovens down beneath. You've got a smaller one on the left by Wolf and then a built-in microwave down here, Sub-Zero fridge and freezer. Another sink, two dishwashers, two trash compactors, pantry area, and this leads to the other side of the staircase that I showed you guys. But let's keep on walking. Outside of the pantry, square center island, modern light fixture above. And I mean, what more is there to talk about? There are two more dishwashers in here, two more trash compactors, a flat screen TV, up above the stainless steel sink and more bookmatch marble behind your TV here. Then we have vertical opening cabinets as well with the sleek, glossy finishes behind it, floating glass shelf in there. This is amazing. I love the modern look of the vertical opening cabinetry in a lot of the modern homes that we've toured on this channel. Then you've got two 
large sub-zero wine refrigerators right next to each other. If you're a wine connoisseur, this is the house for you. Just wait until we check out the wine bar on the opposite side of this level. Just check out this angle of the kitchen. Just imagine having brunch with 20, 30 people in here. This is unbelievable. The scale of this place is insane. And we're gonna keep on moving up here. Living area on this side with a few L-shaped couches. More marble surrounding the entirety of this wall and one of the largest fireplaces that you'll see down beneath this TV on that marble. Other side of your living room is where we find an entertainment space up here with a pool table. And then we have a bar on this side that can compete with Buffalo Wild Wings probably. There are three flat screen TVs up above. Just put on all the games while you're playing games at the pool table. And let's go around to this other side of the bar because there are just a lot of little features to take a look at. So we've got beer on tap right here. You put your keg down here and as we keep on walking, plenty of storage space down beneath. We've got backlit onyx that can hold up any high end vodka or liquor that you might want right there. Down beneath here, we've got Perlick, two more. Look at that. As you open this wine fridge, this mini fridge, it just comes out for you. Very convenient, super easy to just have drinks stocked up right there. And then this one on the left also does have a little lock combo. So you can lock it. If you wanna put some more expensive bottles in here and you don't want anyone at the party to touch those, lock them in there, put a code to it. I won't tell anyone. Once again, we have elevated countertops for your bar area. And there are also multiple iPads to control all the lighting, the music, everything in this home, if you're gonna be having a party. But I'm gonna go back to the other side of this bar and show you what is down this way. If you have to go to the restroom, this is where you'd go. I mean, just, I'm speechless right now because check this out. Just this space in general puts me in awe because it's just an entrance to your bathroom. And of course, it's, it wasn't gonna be your standard normal bathroom. This is a bathroom made for parties, for events. Multiple sinks on the outside that are not closed off for privacy. And then there are multiple doors that lead into a couple of the spaces where you'll see your toilet. There is one private bathroom, but then there are two more for whoever else is gonna be using this. So there could be multiple people in here at once when you're having people over, having drinks at the bar, hanging out at this entertainment space. But before we go to the other side, I'm gonna just walk this way so you guys can see more of the scale to this room on the third floor. And then we have this outdoor portion where one of our balconies are. And it does connect to the other balcony next to the bathroom that we showed you guys. This overlooks the driveway that I said earlier. But let's head back inside and go on the other side of the staircase. Passing by the elevator on the opposite end of your third floor, there is a staircase to my right that is very well lit by these massive skylights above me. And if you follow me down this way past that staircase, to the left is that door that leads into the pantry area we showed you. Massive mirror surrounded by more backlit stone. And there are two bathrooms in this little space next to the staircase as well. One with a urinal actually, but there's more to show you guys than just a bathroom with a urinal. And that is this area. Just so much space. This is where the main party room would be when there are events going on in this home. So we're gonna start to my right. This is your wine bar. You can easily sit eight to 12 people here at this space. And I'm gonna go over to the opposite side actually, cause there's a lot to see in here. Vertical opening cabinetry up above to my left and down here, vertical opening mini fridge and we keep on walking. And here we have your very own personal wine station, wine dispenser. I know we have a lot of beers on tap throughout the house, but there are four bottles of wine that you can put right here and fill up. I mean, this is living the dream if you're a wine connoisseur or if you're anyone that's into wine at all or into drinking, honestly. I'd be down to take a glass of wine maybe a little bit later and we will be around this house and touring it at night. So I can't wait to see what it looks like. Maybe we will have a glass of wine a little bit later. But then as we walk to this space, this is where your glass enclosed wine cellar is, but it's currently staged as a dining hall, which I kind of like. You can close off the glass doors, just have a dinner right here, have a nice meal with friends or family in a nice private enclosed space, or use this as a conference room, have meetings where you don't want anyone else in the house to hear you. I am a big fan of all of the gray stonework and LEDs throughout this room, definitely makes this space pop. It's very different than any room that you'll see, not only in this house, but in any home. So, but let's get out of here. 
There's more to see right outside. But right next to it, this is something I also haven't seen in a home. We're seeing a lot of these. And that is your cigar humidifier. Come, come here, come a little closer, check this out. You've got your Liebherr cigar humidifier. If you're into cigars at all, which I know are, are booming these days, they actually always are gonna be booming, but this is where you'll put them and just make sure they're at the perfect temperature for you so you're ready to go with your cigar. On the opposite end of the bar, we have the same setup we saw on the other side with the vertical opening cabinetry. We've got a sink, LED lights, and another mini fridge right there, but keep on moving with me. Now we have dark stone marble in this living room and another large fireplace down beneath, not quite as large as the one we saw in the living room on the opposite end of this floor. Plenty of space around here, contemporary furniture with the contrasting dark leather sofas, but keep on moving with me. Sliding glass doors, floor to ceiling once again that lead out to a large balcony with those views. But now we'll walk through here because this is actually where we have more sliding glass doors that pocket into the wall to separate this living room, the dining area, the wine bar from this space, which was initially used, well, during parties. This is the, the dance floor, what they'd have right here, separated between a bar on the left side and then the right side, which is currently staged as an entertainment area, but they would actually put a stage here. So if you can imagine the events, that were hosted at this home. They would have a stage here and then performers would sing to a crowd of people directly in front of me. But there's a lot to see in this space and there's also a skylight above me that we will be able to step on once we go up to the rooftop deck. But let's check out this bar over here in the back. So yet another one of several bars that we've been seeing throughout the home. More beers on tap back here. Put your kegs down there, mini fridge, as we've been seeing throughout. Then you also do have a dishwasher and a sink, dark tinted walls going up to the ceiling behind your large flat screen TV above. Mini fridge, once again, mini freezer that is on the far end right side. And let's keep on moving throughout this bar space. So there are steps to my left that lead up to a side yard outdoor portion where we do have a putting green. We'll go there in just a second. But this room, this might be a lot of people's favorite rooms when they walk into this house. So you can close off these sliders. They're also very tinted, so you really wouldn't be able to see anyone that's hanging out in this lounge space is what it would be technically. You can also look up two skylights that look phenomenal from drone shots when you're looking at the property. And this might be the best view that this house has to offer from any room, aside from hanging out on the rooftop deck because we are up here in the corner. We've got these glass railings. We're looking down onto the driveway and we're very close to one of the holes on Bel Air Country Club. This view is unbelievable from up here and it's a perfect day to day, not a cloud in the sky guys, of course. But then there's another bar even in this room over here. So this bar is backlit once again. We're seeing a lot of backlit stonework throughout a lot of the countertops in this home. And there is also another flat screen TV here in this room, a little bit smaller because this is a cozy lounge area. It would also make for a great cigar lounge too. And these sliders also lead out to a smaller balcony just to bring in some fresh air in here. But let's keep on moving. Outside of this room, we'll give you one last look at this main entertainment floor, the bars, the skylights the pool table right here, the balconies, and we are gonna now go out to that side yard and show you the mini golf course. All right, let's get some fresh air. Let's open up these sliders and check out this outdoor space. But now look at this area, just a peaceful and quiet side yard for mini golf. There's also a water feature out here and stairs, as I said, that are gonna go up to the rooftop deck that we will show you in just a second. We have a 50 foot curved fireplace out here right next to your glass railing overlooking the Bel Air Country Club once again, and it is fully turfed surrounding this putting green too. And then I do love this outdoor tree. This is also gonna look amazing at night with all the lighting we have surrounding all of this plant life. And there is outdoor seating to hang out, get some shade, relax, and uh, get away from all the hectic stuff going on if you're inside the home or even on the rooftop deck. But that was everything up here on this third level from this putting green to the entertainment floor and the kitchen on the other side. And now we have one more thing to show you guys and that is the rooftop deck. So let's go up there now. Well, here we are, the infamous rooftop deck of this home in Bel Air. 
And we're just gonna give you one quick sneak peek of what it looks like from up here, from the waterfall behind me, to the drop down turf area, to the views. I mean, there's a lot to see up here from a pickleball court, basketball court, a gym, and this massive rooftop pool. But first we're gonna show you everything this place has to offer, starting with this turf area on the right side of the staircase as you head up here. It's just a nice little private space where you can hang out, kind of just take it easy, get away from the pool a bit. And there's also a gate that leads to even more private space down in the back over here. Also fully turfed and it looks amazing at night with all of the lighting along the left side. I mean, does it get much better than this, guys? It doesn't even feel like we're at the same house anymore, but just wanted to show you a little peek of this. Now let's go back to where the pool is. So we're showing you everything that this rooftop has to offer. We are directly underneath the waterfall now, looking at the home. There's a bar in the distance. It could even be a full-on restaurant. I might just hang out here for a bit while you guys admire these views because I'm looking at views of Century City, downtown LA, and the Bel Air Hills out here through this massive waterfall. I don't know if I've ever seen a waterfall this high, this big in any home, let alone on a rooftop deck of a house. This is mind blowing to me. I wish you guys were up here with me as well. And could you just imagine having a party up here? We'll show you everything. We've got large jacuzzi, can easily fit 12 people, but I'm sure there have been more in that jacuzzi in the past. With anything that could go on up here, this is more like a resort than a house in reality. Definitely made to have events at, but I'm just in awe, honestly. I'm just gonna keep showing you guys what's around here. Some towel racks to the left. And then we've got a bathroom right through here, full outdoor bathroom on your rooftop deck. Large flat screen TV, it's gotta be an 80 inch flat screen. I love this glass tile as well on the back side up against this wall. And there is a secondary bathroom, both bathrooms also do have full showers, which is convenient. But let's keep on walking past this covered patio space, the bathrooms. There's a floating day bed right here. I would probably just claim this bed as my own bed and claim this rooftop as my room, honestly. This is a great space to hang out. There might not be a better space to hang out throughout the entire home. Another outdoor fire pit next to me. A Baja shelf with three seats in there to relax in the shallow end and more outdoor seating, more turf, more plant life. And now follow me down the opposite side of the pool. Let's get an angle from right here, honestly. Look at this. Look at how large this pool is. There are three tiers to it as well. And it drops down onto the turf area that we're gonna walk to right now. So let's go down these steps. Also, mind you guys, we are going to be touring this rooftop at night as well. So stick around for that at the end of the video. When you see what this place looks like lit up when the sun goes down, looking at the city lights. I mean, I can't wait myself. I'm excited myself to see that, honestly. Let's walk down a few steps to this turf area. This waterfall is absolutely absurd. I mean, just take a look at how it looks behind me. I also love the blue LED lights that we see behind it and the three tiers to this pool area massive turf space these are the stairs that lead up to where we just were but let's show you the rest of this rooftop deck more outdoor seating some heat lamps out here this straight up just feels like a five-star luxury high-end resort with the cabanas the waterfall I feel like i'm in a movie being up here on this rooftop deck outdoor dining and then you have an outdoor bar with this glossy dark stonework you can seat maybe eight people on this bar area, we've got the glass tile work surrounding the lower half as well. And then more beers on tap right here. How many beers on tap do we have throughout this house? I mean, it's obviously a party house, like I've been saying. And you can also see into the home through these windows beneath three more TVs above. Just another sports bar to add to this house. Two more mini fridges down below, sink on the right side, barbecue grill back here by Lynx, and you've got two burners over on the side with more stone countertops. And there are also several heat lamps around this covered area on the ground and a couple up on the ceiling, recessed lights. It's gonna look unbelievable at night. And if you follow me to this side, there is an outdoor fireplace along the outside of the home, glass railings cover the entirety of this upper level too. And there's just sliders throughout, so you really do get that indoor-outdoor flow up here, even though we are inside. And this is your rooftop bar. 
This is crazy. This is like a little guest house, entertainment space. You've got this bar with floating marble countertops facing the views and looking right at the fireplace out there. Sliding doors to each side of this room. This might be my favorite part of this little guest suite because if you open up these sliders, you have a great view of pickleball, basketball, or anyone just hanging out up here on your rooftop. Phenomenal space overall. And now let's check out this other bar floating marble countertops with two flat screen TVs. You can probably sit eight people once again up here. See-through cabinetry in the center, sink on the left, and what do we know? Another mini fridge down here. There's a mini fridge in every room practically. Mini freezer, but now let's check out what's on this side. This is the stairs that lead down to that third level, and there is a bathroom up here, multiple bathrooms up on your rooftop. Why would you ever leave the rooftop? Floating vanity, LEDs, water closets over on the opposite end, but let's show you what it looks like if we walk out through these sliding doors. Up two more steps. It feels like it just never ends out here. Outdoor turf that extends all the way to the pool behind me and your landscaping up on this hill. Multiple trees with the lighting surrounding it. Then we have a waterfall out here up on your rooftop deck with outdoor seating just surrounding it too. Enjoy this peaceful, tranquil, sense of nature out here. Behind this structure to my left is where we currently have your outdoor gym. Now they used to have all of this equipment on the basketball court, but they've cleared it up in the last few months and put it in the back here. All of this equipment is also straight from an older Equinox. So you know it is top of the line equipment and they have everything. This might be my favorite part on this side because it's where we've got the dumbbells and it faces the basketball hoop, the pickleball court and the views. You can just get some bicep curls in right now. Looking at the views, looking at the weekend's house in the distance, the Bel Air Country Club. Get a nice workout in any time of day. At sunset, this is gonna be incredible. Sunrise, because the sun will rise right above the hill right there. Can't even imagine what it would be like up here. But there's your outdoor gym. There are three total outdoor pool houses on your rooftop deck, which is insane. I've never seen anything like it. And we also have multiple lockers for anyone that's gonna be using the gym because they do rent this house out as well. So if you put your things in the locker, no one's gonna take them. You can easily store them for safety reasons. But now if we go over to this side, more gym equipment. This is the cardio section. You also have more wet bars, smart mirrors above, full bathroom on the left side, electric fireplace with a flat screen TV above it, a couple of pocketed areas to get a natural breeze flowing in here from the gym in the back. And we've just got your Stairmaster. This is how you guys would live your life. Just get on the Stairmaster while looking at these views. I mean, what, what more could you ask for? This might be the best gym in Los Angeles. It's definitely the best gym in Bel Air because there are no Equinoxes in Bel Air. There's the Equinox Bel Air. It's, it's right here on Challen on the rooftop deck. And then we've got a punching bag right here, you know? Next YouTube boxing match, I think uh, I might have to take someone on right here. Comment below who uh, you guys think I should fight in a YouTube boxing match. And I know I would win, there is no doubt about that. Let's go down here and check out the pickleball court. Pickleball is definitely a booming sport these days here in Los Angeles and across the country. But there's also a basketball hoop and that is more my speed, so I have a basketball. Let's see if I can make it. If I make this, you guys have to hit the subscribe button here. Oh, that first try, guys, I, I'm telling you, I always post these on my first try. I don't fake anything, but that was everything for your rooftop deck in general from the views, the waterfall, the pool, the three structures, the gym, the turf. And now it's time to check out what this rooftop deck looks like at night. So let's do it. The property is presented with thousands of unique LED lights of many different colors that really make this home stand out. With everything turned on, especially the expansive fireplaces, the curb appeal of this home is truly unmatched. Events at this house are second to none, and I'm honored to have had the privilege of sharing this one with you guys. So if you haven't already, kindly hit the like button and subscribe for more of these coming in the future. I really appreciate everyone for watching this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.